Spirit Farers, my name is Seattle Sims and welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for what we're going to be doing today, which is diverting a little bit from our regular Sims gameplay to take on this indie game called Spirit Farer by the Thunderbolt Studios. Um, I actually have played about maybe the first 20-ish minutes of this game with my partner and I really enjoyed it and thought it had some simulation aspects to it so I thought it would be fun to try and play on the channel and I don't see a lot of people playing indie games anymore on YouTube at least big youtubers I don't really see them playing these kind of games anymore so I thought it would be fun to try and showcase this game and try it out and yeah without further ado we're gonna go make a new game yes I don't actually think I got very far in my last save file, so I'm totally okay with doing that. Alright. Here we go. This game is so beautiful. I have to do voices. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Ah, finally. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. How ironic that would have been, would it not? I'm Charon. Karen. I'm gonna call him Karen. The Spirit Farer. Well, that is what I have been until your arrival. I cannot say that I am sad to leave, but I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are? Stella. Stella! Welcome, Stella. I see you have brought a friend here with you. What's his name? Daffodil. I see. You two will share the burden then, and take it over from me. And I said, as I said, in a few minutes I will be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit bearer. Listen. Your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands, and when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You will have to help them fulfill their last requests and be at their service until their last breath. The big round bridge over there is the Everdor. The Alpha, where everything starts. The Omega, where everything ends. This is where all the quests get completed and where existence meets its threshold. There is no task more important than this one. Never forget this, Stella. Here, there is something I need to give you. Now, be really careful with it. It is the Everlight. The symbol of your status here, and the only tool you will ever need. Mm. Oh, there goes Daffodil. Wait, what are you? <laughs> oh, how highly inappropriate. <laughs> I love Daffodil, she's so cute. Well, that settles it. The Everlight will help you throughout your travels. It will be the light that shines in the darkness, the last remaining hope of the departed. Awesome. Hope is a flame, 
the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too, at first. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. You will soon get used to this place, accustomed to these moments. You are the new spirit farers, after all. One last thing. Once I am gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you, and it will fade away once I am gone. You might find one, not too far from here. Keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Probably. It is time. Here I go. So long, Stella, and good luck. You will need it. Bye, Karen. It was nice meeting you. And that's that. <laughs> Where this new spirit bearer, which basically, um, if you didn't get the gist of it, we are basically the uh, bringer of death. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's what you'd call it, but we're basically in charge of um, bringing souls of the dead to their final resting place, I suppose. Press space to jump, hold space to jump higher. This would probably be easier if I were playing with a keyboard or with a what do you call it? A controller? But I am playing with a keyboard right now. Maybe I'll try a controller in the next episode. Hold S and space to drop down. Okay. Also, when I was playing this with my partner for the first time, um, I was playing as the cat Daffodil. I was not playing as Stella. So we'll see how this goes because he did everything and I was just kind of there along for the ride. Stella! Oh. Stella. It really is you. Stand up straight and let me get a look at you. You look good. And Daffodil is tier two, I see. We'll have to find a lint roller then. Uh, it might not be that obvious after all. It's me, Gwen. Good thing you found me. But if you're here, it means... Oh, you are the new spirit bearer. You are the one replacing Karen. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. I've been stuck on this disgusting island for about a week living off sardines and cigarettes. Mm. Funny how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. I can see you have an Everlight now. Mm. Of course. See that boat over there? Hand to boat. Big boat. Mm. That's the one. It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's commandeer it. I'd wager it still wor it will work, since you're the spirit fairer. Meet me on the deck over there. I'll explain it all. And we're just gonna jump. Oh. Oh, right, I need to press space to jump. Am I stuck? Shoot. <laughs> this would happen to me. Okay, yeah, I need to find a controller at some point. Um, so that doesn't happen again. Can I jump up? No. We love a tutorial. Okay, and Daffodil's already over here. Daffodil is doing better than me. Okay. Okay, here goes. Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. And this is our friend, Gwen. She's beautiful, and she's going to teach us the ropes of how to be the spirit bearer. How exciting. Mm. Wonderful. I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. Mm. So, the way I see it, this boat is yours now. Don't you think? Mm. Good. And as you're the spirit bearer, welcoming stray spirits is your new job. And once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Well, 
It's my theory, anyway. Why are you looking at me like that? Hey. You need to come here and give me a hug. Yes. Hug. Now, do I just go through this with the arrow keys? It looks like I do. Hug. Yes. It's good to see you, Gwen. Much better. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. So. Here we go. Oh no. What a mess. Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. A beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Or vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this or my dust allergies will be back. Will you have allergies when you die? That's something to think about. Let me think. Mm -hmm. There's only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert. Mm -hmm. He's your local shipwright. And his jokes are garbage. But he's the only one who can fix your boat. Mm -hmm. We should head to Albert's shipyard. You must be wondering how to make the ship move. Mm -hmm. It's really easy, actually. There, let me give you this key I found on the island. It will unlock that cabin in the back. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know all this? Well, I was planning on escape, remember? Mm. And you know me. I plan things meticulously. Very mm. meticulously. Go open up that cabin, Stella. Mm. The map projector should be simple enough to use, and you just have to go to Albert's shipyard. Okay. So this is our cabin. Press tab to review active quests. Okay. And we're going here. So this is our map. And it's growing as we discover new places. And we want to go here to Albert's shipyard. Okay. And then while we're headed on out, our ship will move. It'll stop moving if we jump off the ship. Uh, and while we're in travel, we can do whatever. Okay. So Gwen wanted to talk to us. As I understand, the ship is powered by your Everlight. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals the stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything by myself. You must admit, it's quite fascinating. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Karen, the Everdoor, the spirit fairies, this plate, this boat, me being here. It's a lot. You must be wondering what is going on. Mm -hmm. Truth be told, I don't really know either. But I'm here for you. I'll do my best to help you and try to make sense of it all. Mm -hmm. As I said earlier, I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow, I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore the ship. Mm -hmm. Can you even give that fishing rod a try? The world is your oyster. So, let's try fishing. I don't actually know how to do this because when I was playing with my partner, um, oh, hold, eat a reel. Okay, I guess we got a fish. I was tapping E just now. I gotta hold it. Um, but we have to feed our guests on our ship. It's like we're a little hotel, kind of, and like we have to take care of everybody so they can pass on to the next part of their life. It's kind of this like really beautiful motif kind of thing. Or maybe not motif, but just like story element. So we're just fishing along as we head towards the harbor to get our ship upgrade. It's a really pretty game too. I really like the uh, animation style. How do I get out of Okay, we have arrived at Albert's shipyard, but I don't know how to get out of this. I think escape. There we go. Oh, here we are. Albert's shipyard discovered. Fantastic. This is great for us. Okay. Um, so Gwen wants to talk to us again. Now head down to Albert's shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear this clutter. I'm curious about what it's all made of. Considering the smell, I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. Okay, so then we go into our tiny ship. And we're going to head on in to the shipyard with our friend Daffodil. Over here! Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. 
Where my prices are a customer's best friend. I am Albert. Been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you are the new spirit fairer? Well, of course you are. Anyway, you've been able to start the ship and bring it here after all. Given was right to point you. Oh, Gwen was right to point you towards my humble enterprise. <laughs> Let me see what you have here. A nice little dinghy. Funny how it looks exactly like the one I built some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. See, Garen was unhappy about his gloomy and dank arc. Actually, he was always complaining about everything. But this customer is always right. So I built him a newer, better one. Of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard. But don't you worry, you can keep this one. Let's just call this alone. And let me tell you something. You know, we always joke about the construction here. I don't know what this voice is. I'm just trying something out. Don't worry. <laughs> We're still working on it. We are still working on the voice. Hardy har har. Anyway, with a bit of love, this bird will resplendent again. The first thing you'll need is a proper blueprint, I will. What? <laughs> I'm gonna figure his voice out eventually. I can't do very deep voices because my voice is more in the high range. Alright, Albert, since it's your lucky day, I'm feeling generous. I'll offer it to you. Free of charge. Mind you, it's just a bit bare bones in terms of functionality. But the subsequent upgrades will come as at mu such a small price, you'll want to buy them almost immediately. Simply direct me to upgrade the ship. Building 101. Okay. Upgrade your blueprint station. Cool. Don't have any upgrades. Shenanigans. Upgrade your blueprint station. Okay. Uh, do we just talk to him to do that? My prices are customers. What do you need? Oh, okay. Upgrade. Okay. Figuring this out. Blueprint station. That's what I need. Oh, it looks like we can get a lot of fun stuff. Oh, I want a mailbox. I need a maple plank, a linen thread, a lightning, and a bottle. Okay, I don't have those things now, obviously. I'll do beginner. Um, blueprint station, because that's what I need. And I think that is all we need from Albert, so I'm gonna call that a day. And I guess we'll just come back here whenever we need more stuff. You'll be able to build and edit your buildings on your boat. What a treat. But if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and in a pleasure, I'm your guy. Come back when you feel your boat is getting too crowded. Cheers. Okay, so we completed that. Let's get back on our little ship and head back to our big ship. Gwen's back. Good. Albert gave it to you for free and he said he loaned this ship to you. Ominous. Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand now. Hmm. Cleaning up this deck. You can go to your new blueprint table and move above your cabin and select the op move option. All those words just got out of order for me in my brain. Okay. In it, you'll be able to remove any building and get back resources. Hmm. Go for it. I'll wait down here. So that is up there. How do I jump again? There we go. Blueprint station. Can I use my mouse for this? This might make it a little bit easier. How do I get rid of stuff? Select. Enter. Enter. Nope. Escape. Salvage. R. What is happening? Oh, I have to move my little star here. Okay. That makes more sense. And we got 20 maple logs, three empty bottles, two old shoes, and an old carpet. Awesome. And Gwen is saying, that was wonderful. So let's go see what Gwen has to say. Hmm. You did a wonderful job, Stella. And the good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. A necessary amenity. Mm -hmm. Newly welcomed spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep, not really. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in there. Mm -hmm. But it beats sleeping on the deck. 
The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff and the humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave you to it. Have fun. Okay. So, tab to open my quest. Build the guest house with the blueprint table. Oh, what was that? Albert wants us to add a mailbox. Get a bigger boat. And upgrade the blueprint table. Okay, so that's good to keep in mind for now. Those are not my main concerns, though. Let's build our little house. Build. Uh, guest house. Which one is it? Kitchen. Field. Guest house. Guest house, yes. Build it. I... I'll put it close to my little headquarters. I'll just put it right there. Cool. I wonder if Gwen has anything to say to us about that. Very nice. This guest house is very pretty. It has your touch. Nice work, as usual. Now at last, I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh! Wait. What is going on? Something else is happening. Ah... I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. Very hungry. You know how terrible of a cook I am. But I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. And you might have fished a few fishes already. Trouble is, I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I could try for sure, but I'll probably choke on the fish bone and never survive. You know, even though she's already dead. <laughs> That's not how you want me to go. As absurd as this sounds. So you should keep this on using this blueprint table. You should keep on using this blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen aboard. I'm pretty sure I've seen the plans for it in there. As well as the necessary resources. Damn. You require bright jelly. And there's only one way to get some. I... Look, I should have told you this when I first met you here. Something scares the hell out of me. A dark presence and even I cower from it. A void that swallows all light included... It can take many forms, and for me, it is always jellyfish. Yes, I'm fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen, well, only these jellyfish can provide it to you. So there is no other option. I'll have to face my fears. But you're here. With you, I can do it. They will appear as a dark patch of pure fear on your map, so you can't miss it. I'll take some time to prepare myself. <sighs> okay... So we're going to the map and looking for the darkness. Let's get them, girls. Set destination. Okay, and I played this part already with my partner. As I said, I started playing this game for my partner and we need to be on the like very edge of the deck here i keep forgetting how to jump and prepare to capture as many jellyfish as possible so we can get as much uh, of the material as needed i did very poorly at this when i was playing it the first time so we'll see how it goes this time anyway I don't know what else to talk about. I just, I'm really enjoying the animation in this game. I think it's very pretty. I love Daffodil, our little white cat here. I wish I could, oh, can I pet her? <gasps> I can, oh my gosh, that's awesome. So I was playing as Daffodil when I was playing with my partner because this is a multiplayer game and I don't think he ever pet me. Oh, can I not pet her again? You can only hug people once a day, so I guess I can only pet her once a day. That's really sad. <laughs> I wish I could pet her more. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna get the jellies. Oh, I guess Gwen wants to talk to us first. Here we are. Damn. Here they come. Set your eyes on the ones with bright jelly. They should be visible enough. That said, pop as many as you can. You'll get glims anyway, which we also need to build other things. I'll wait for you inside. It's too hard for me to stay out here. Go ahead. I believe in you. Okay. 
So I think we... Well, this is working out for us pretty well so far. Okay. They're just coming right for us. I think this next one's going to be pretty high, though, so... Oh, shoot. Okay. Ah, can we make it? Yes. Awesome. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh, these controls are really hard. So there's another green one. We really want to focus on those ones. I don't really care about the yellow ones too much. Um. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So far, so good, right? Getting a lot of nice yellows. Want to get that green one. <gasps> oh no, oh no, we missed it. Oh, there we go. We got it, we got it, we got it. We're good, we're good, we're good. Awesome, awesome. Okay, there's another green one coming for us. Ooh, I want to try and get all these yellow ones. This is really intense. Oh, there's a green one. There's a green one. There's a green one. Okay. Oh, good. We got it. We got it. We got it. Awesome. There's a big yellow one. Awesome. Okay. Is there any more? Who's at it? I don't see any more coming. I think we got them all. Fantastic, says Gwen. Okay. I'm really impressed. You rocked out there. Tumbling and diving like a shooting star. And without the slightest fear nor hesitation at that. You definitely haven't lost your touch, Stella. And you even gathered enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen. Yes! Go for it. I'll be patiently waiting. Slowly digesting myself. Okay. Oh wait, we don't want to go in there. We want to go up to the blueprint table. Build. And then... Uh, we want... Kitchen. And I'm just gonna smack the kitchen right next to the... Uh, what is that? The guest house or whatever? Um, cause that... Seems like what it would be, right? <laughs> like where it would go logically. And they look like they line up really nicely together. Lovely kitchen, says Gwen. You can now use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple. Put any one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. You could even try these loose corn kernels that have been hanging around in my pockets. Can't wait to see you- I can't wait to see you and your cooking glory again. You got this. Awesome. Uh, stove recipes. What recipes do we have? I'm curious. Nothing! Because <laughs> we haven't cooked anything yet. Cook. Okay. And we're just gonna cook corn. Okay. D should I put only one in there? I guess so. And it's done. Oh, we have magic mittens! And we made some popcorn with the corn. That makes perfect sense. I can smell it, says Gwen. Mm -hmm. I could eat anything. Just give me some food. Uh, food? Give. I won't die just yet. Thanks, Stella. It's better than I thought it could be. Then again, you always have been a wonder in the kitchen. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. We need a good meal once in a while. It'll be up to you to understand who's fond of what. As for me, I'm sure you remember I've always loved comfort food. Me too, Gwen. And that I would die for a cup of coffee. Same. We are one and the same. But I'm not that picky. I can't eat anything. I can eat anything. I can eat anything most of the time, too. Just never the same thing twice. Oh, and before I forget, here's something I was supposed to give you. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but an obol, O-B-O-L, is a symbol of passage. It's a fee each spirit has to pay you. But something tells me you knew that already. Let's keep on improving this craft. As you must have seen in your blueprint table, there is both a field and a garden blueprint, which means you can grow up many different things and turn the ship into a dorm adorable farm of sorts. Excuse me. You should add a field first, in my opinion. 
It's going to be easier to find the resources for it around here, and you can grow linen in it. Which, in turn, will be used to craft more things. In addition to building a field, we should go buy seeds to use in it. But that will come later. I need to visit an island close by. It's called Mostine Cove, and there is something on it we need. I'll tell you when we get there. Um, oh, she wants to keep talking to us. Ah, yes, I forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, this boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your Everlight being, well, light, or some other technicality. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Tackle unfinished business or just chill on the deck under the stars. I'd suggest you go to sleep, too, in that cozy little room atop your cabin. You'll wake up refreshed and ready to go on this ship. We'll start. The ship will start again in the morning. Speaking of that, you know me, waking up on time has never been my forte. You can ring that big bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right time. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of sleep, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Have a good night. Okay. So I think that we are gonna take Gwen's advice and wrap this episode up here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe uh, with the subscribe button down below and ring the bell. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment what you think of Spirit Fair so far down below in the comments section. I look forward to playing more Spirit Fair with you in the near future. Have a great day!